I've been obsessed with DNA since I was like 13 years old when I first learned about it. And I just think DNA is so cool. Um, how three billion letters make me who I am is super fascinating. So I thought I wanted to just work in biotech, maybe like kind of on the sales side because I love interacting with people and I love pitching and giving presentations. And I had always had this crazy idea for genetic based dating app. Um, I had learned about genetic based human attraction back in undergrad and that's when I first had the epiphany like I could make a geneharmony.com, you know? So Baylor does this really awesome thing where you can take classes at the other institutes around uh, the neighborhood because there are such amazing schools right here in the med center. So I actually took an entrepreneurship class over at Rice called Life Science Entrepreneurship and it was specifically targeted for MDs and PhDs to teach us how to take a really great idea that we have in the ER, the OR, the laboratory, and how to write a patent on it and how to make a company out of it. And sure enough, there's a accelerator program here in the med center specifically for PhDs and MDs that you can go and pitch a company idea and they'll help you like make a business plan and make a pitch deck. And so I did that starting in December 2016, found some co-founders and then I got investment money. Um, and then I just took it from there is finishing my PhD and starting Faramore, a DNA and database dating app. And now it is my full-time job as a chief scientific officer and co-founder of a startup here in Houston. We're turning into the third coast, the first being Silicon Valley, the second being Boston, and, and Houston is really coming up to be the third. Funding, equipment, mentors, internships, whatever you think you might want to get involved in or have to uh, advance your experience as a PhD student, you can find it here in Houston. Having mentors really helped me see the whole picture of what my career could be was really helpful. My mentor, uh, Dr. Susan Rosenberg, I always looked up to her as being someone who if she needs to get it done, she's going to get it done. No matter how hard you had to work or grind, like it's going to happen. And I really, really appreciate that and always respected that. And so that's like, uh, you know, one thing about her, her mentorship style that I took on. And then, um, you know, I had my committee of which um, they were so supportive and they all had their own viewpoints. I think a lot of scientists see two tracks, academics or pharma and, you know, big biotech. But actually, if you dig in deeper, there's so much more. And I think that Baylor College of Medicine actually permits you to go down that rabbit hole because once you start to look, you realize there's actually a lot of other paths here to go. Yeah, I have a PhD in molecular and human genetics, but a PhD just means I know how to find solutions to problems. That's what PhDs are all about. Here's a problem, you have six years to figure it out, you know, solve it uh, in the most creative way possible. So I know a lot about genetics, but I also know just a lot about how to solve problems.